Hey there, Ventex here. Welcome to a new game, Ghost of Tomorrow, Chapter 1. So I guess there's going to be more chapters. Let's go ahead and go into settings. Everything is on ultra, full screen, that's good. Window full screen, that's fine. Start a new game, WASD, left click, flashlight, got it. Let's do it. Hi, Amanda, how's college? Wonder if I'm Amanda. Hey, Mom, it's great. How's your roommate, Gail? He seemed a bit strange when I mate him. I don't like you sharing an apartment with a stranger, you know. He's fine, Mom. We get along really well. We even take some classes together. Gotta go. Gonna drive to my apartment. Bye. Okay, drive safe. So she mate him? Looks like they mated. Alright, we're driving. Navigation is selected on the dashboard. A little rainy. Okay, what? Okay, that's my mirror. What is that in the that in the mirror? I guess that's from my navigation. Looks like it. I just a you know, rainy weather day. At least it's a nice straight narrow road. Nothing pops out at us, right? What are we doing? New voice message received. Okay. From Gail. Oh, Gail, my roommate. Uh, F. Playing voice message right, there we go. from Gail. What do you want, Gail? Hey, Amanda. I was hey. thinking maybe we should get together on the weekend to study for Monday's exam. To study? I, I was thinking maybe we could go to a coffee place and... Sounds like Gail's asking me out on a date. As long as he's paying. As long as he's paying. What's going on here? Oh, shoot! I think I just killed her. I think I killed the lady. Ma'am? Ma'am? Can I mess with the sensitivity? Nope. Uh... Ma'am? Are you okay? Hello? I can't go any further. Nope, that's as far as I can go. Why am I walking so weird and slow? Oh look! Yay, I'm Amanda! I have a skirt! Nice. Real nice. Alright, I'm gonna get back inside. There's no lady out there. Must have been my imagination. That was it. That's the game! I'm just kidding. <laughs> what are we doing now? Okay, we parked in a parking garage. Still raining like cats and dogs. I like the edge of the map right there. The creeping parking lot. Got some heels on. I see my toes. We got normal amount of toes, so that's good. Starting off good. Go up. Uh-oh. That first light went out. Uh uh oh, second light went out. Come on. No. Elevator! Elevator! Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, two please. Well, that started out pretty intense. Go up. Uh-oh. Heard another elevator. In a hallway. Uh, I can't go this way. The wet floor signs blocking my path. It's too strong. Guess we better go to this room. Can I go back down? No. We're already committed. Okay, now we made it to the room. Now what? There's been strange things going on tonight. Must be tired. I'm gonna go to bed and get some sleep. Where's, okay, this is the door. Gail must be resting in his room. I shouldn't bother him right now. Aren't we going to go for coffee? Pictures. Block. Kitchen. Then we got a closet to hide in. In case there's a ghost hunt. 
raining like crazy out there. This is a nice stove. Who leaves a can of peaches open on the counter? Look at this microwave. Ugh. Gross. Disgusting. I don't even think I'd use it. This is the 24th of August, 2019. Do you remember where you were? Alright, let's go. Might been somebody's in chat's birthday. Happy, happy belated birthday. Almost two years later. The time of this recording. Better late than never. It's the thought that counts. That's what they say. Oh, we're sleeping right away. Sounds good. I got guitars hanging up. I guess I do a little bit of music. I dabble. I dabble a little bit. Slap the bass. Hope that's an alarm. <laughs> that's a creepy alarm. Uh oh. Oh, that's my phone. Hold on. Hold on. Wake up. I gotta go to the bathroom. Always. Bathroom lights out again. <sighs> Dang it. I hate when that happens. I pee on myself. Okay, 11.30 p.m. What was the creepy music for? Oh! Hello? Amanda, are you coming home next weekend? Amanda, are you coming home next weekend? Amanda, I've been calling and texting you for two days and you haven't answered. I haven't heard anything for, uh, from you for days. Where are you? Are you okay? Please, call me. Mom, well, being a little redundant there, are we? Oh, look at this poster. Nice. Right, so yeah, I got a guitar hanging up over my bed, so you feel like I'd do some music. That's a tiny laundry basket. I could barely fit like a couple pair of jeans in there. All right, we got someone at the door. Is Gail still sleeping? What's Gail doing? He must be resting. We got a letter here. Gail, it's me, Martha, Amanda's mother. You know where Amanda is? She hasn't answered my phone calls for two days. Please, if you know anything, call me. Don't call that number, chat. Don't do it. Down there in the comments, don't do it. What does that sound? It looks like the lighting or something. It looks like a big dome right here. There's like a rug there. Oh, shoot! Oh, look at the time! Oh, did that change? Something's happening to it. Oh. Okay, well, things are back to normal. I think we're okay. Do we even know if Gail's home? Like how there's like a little drip? Creepy. Why is a bathroom without any light so scary? What do I do now? Oh. No? Uh. Did my coffee disappear? Oh no, it goes from a black cup to a white cup. That's cool. Color changing with the temperature, I imagine. Can't turn off the lights. Can't get into my wardrobe. I'm still wearing the same thing. I went to bed in this outfit. This is creepy. In the dark bathroom by myself. With nothing but my thoughts. Of those that have wronged me. Now what? What do we do? Now that that's done. Check that off my list of things to do today. Oh, here we go. Missing person, Amanda Graham. Oh, look, I'm not half bad looking. Uh, last seen outside Harvey University on August 23rd wearing a white tank top and jean shorts. Well, I don't have a white tank top, and I have, like, more of a skirt than jean shorts, so I guess this can't be me. Brown eyes, dark hair, 5'7", 125 pounds, 120 pounds, age 22. Okay, well, it's not me. Feel bad for Amanda. Hello? I like it's coming from there. I already saw that. Gail! 
Do I have a flashlight? I'll do it too. I'll do it right back. I don't care. What do you want to do? You like that? That's what I thought. Maynard quit. See that? There's lights going on in here. Oh, a flashlight. Keep the music. Oh. Missing student body found. Stabbed by roommate. Alleged killer turned himself into the police. Police searched for Amanda whereabouts for two weeks. Amanda roommate, 24-year-old Gail Rogers, was arrested after confessing to hiding the body. Body found in crawl space, hidden behind a false wall inside closet of Mr. Rogers' room. Oh! I see someone. I'm going back to bed. It's too much for me. I'm going back to bed. It's just a nightmare. I like how you can't hear her from your room. <laughs> Are you okay? I don't have your inhaler. I don't have your inhaler. Why did you turn off the flashlight? Why turn it back on? No. Right, I'm going to get something to eat. Why is there three chairs here? We got some Chinese food. Are you okay, ma'am? Do you need to go to the hospital? Okay. Uh, alright. More concerned for her health than anything. Oh, the door opened. Ooh, it's pitch black in here. Let's go inside. Oh! No, 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 no! Gail? How are you going to stab me when you want to go down on coffee date? That doesn't make any sense. Hey, Amanda, you want to go on a coffee date? Stab, stab, stab. That's how every coffee date starts. Story of my life, am I right? Door. Door. Come on. What do you got to unlock? No, no fate. Okay, do we? Oh, now all of them open. Oh, that one closed. Both of them did. As you walk past, them. I wonder if one of these will lead somewhere. Probably the very back one. Nope. Whee! Okay, so that's a no. In loving, okay. In loving memory, Amanda Graham, 1997 to 2019. Just talking about a birthday and now we got a death. How about here? Uh-oh. That's a no. Hello, there's me. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> oh, there's a desk or a dresser. Gail Rogers sentenced to 25 years in prison. Gail Rogers pleads guilty to murder. Police found Rogers writing, raging about society and loneliness. Prosecutor says he was romantically obsessed with Amanda. Oh, it's the same thing. I'm glad they double-sided it. That's good. The people who can't read... Unless they flip the page. It's like not being able to turn left. Lots of doors are bloodied. We're gonna get some more stuff soon, I imagine. Oh, there's my roommate, Gail! Are you Gail? Are you Gail? I like your sweatpants. You gonna go for coffee? 
Okay. He's like that guy from Hey Arnold and staying behind Helga. Throughout history, people have experienced the supernatural event of a time slip. What is time a time slip? slip? A time slip is when a person or group of people travel back in time through supernatural Exposition. ways. Not technological like a time machine. Okay. This happens because time is not linear or fixed as we perceive it. Time is oh my fluid. gosh. Write me a novel. Write me a novel when you get done. Alright, good. What we got here? I got time to listen to all that. I'm trying to escape. I don't got time to listen to your novel. Try to be a little bit more inventive with your exposition. Stop the madness. And they double sided that as well. <laughs> How considerate. Last blue door. Oh, there I am again. I got a couple more doors to go before I do no fate. Last door on the left. Isn't that a movie? Last door on the left? I think it is. I haven't seen it. Let's go through it. The door to no fate has opened. What is on the other side of no fate? Possibly death. Possibly a fish sandwich. Hello? Oh, okay. Definitely lot, not a fish sandwich. Is that it? No way. I am back at home. Was it all just a nightmare? Who says I am back at home? Are you a robot? Are you a robot, Amanda? Oh, we're watching football. Football. Uh-oh. Heard a scream. Maybe I am Gale. Let's look down. Nope, still Amanda. Unless Gale... No, okay, still Amanda. Ooh. Let's go back here. This is a nice house. Um. Oh. I hear you. Oh, you're banging on the door. I'm just gonna leave. Nope, never mind. Uh oh, TV's all messed up. Look at this painting. That's a nice painting right there. This is a nice kind of room right here. I'm digging it. Oh, I'm supposed to be playing a scary game. Not bad. Oh, she was standing right behind me. Oh my gosh. Look, we can watch them play football. Oh, nice. Are they going to score? Score a touchdown. Hit a home run. Go. Aw, it's just a loop. Oh, there's a door open. Flashlight. Still got it. After all these years. Nope. Turn it off. Oh. Was that Gail? Gail, put a shirt on. Take this towel. What is that? Ah, oh, okay. The doctor has told me that writing my thoughts is therapeutic and might help with the trauma. How much more can I handle? After losing my daughter to a murderer, which itself is a horrible tragedy, my husband has been very absent. Our daughter's death has been devastating to him, understandably so. I myself feel devastated too. However, I try to move forward in life with my, him and my son, Dylan. Of course, the death of his sister has also affected Dylan. Bravely, especially for a young 18-year-old boy, but at least I still feel he is around me, unlike my husband. He tries his hardest to still give emotional support to this family. Still, my son's behavior has also changed. Quite don't know how to put it, but something about him seems very different. Okay. Different how? Is there another door? Nope, no other door to open. Go back to the bathroom. A nice bathroom. Now what? 
Ah, here. I had feared my husband could be back to alcohol addiction. Aside from being absent in our family's life, now he seems to be drowning his sorrows with alcohol like he once used to. This once old habit, which he had overcome a long time ago, a few years after our marriage, now has creeped in again. His family always had a history of depression, alcohol addiction, and other mental illness. Well, how does this lady is just full of exposition? They, I told them to write a novel, and they did. I am really worried for him. I don't know what to do. He barely talks to me, and when we do, it's just arguing. We argue about what happened to Amanda. He gets mad at me because he thinks I'm insane. He doesn't believe me when I say it. When I say something about her daughter's murder wasn't right, I know that somehow she knew she was in trouble. We could have done something to stop it. No, oh, just exposition, exposition. That's just, like, stop. Just... Tell a story in a clever way. Stop being lazy. Lazy writing. More exposition. Here we go again. So today, I found out that my son is doing drugs. I think that uh, that I think that that Gale monster. I think that that Gale monster not only killed our daughter but killed each one of us. Amanda's death has left a turmoil in this family, and I don't know what to do. Unfortunately, my son has a lot of his father in him. I tried talking about it with him, but he just won't. How much more can I handle? I myself have been depressed ever since Amanda died, but I am not the one to channel my depression into substance abuse. That's not the way I was taught to confront things in life in my house. I try to keep my faith in God and find some peace within him. I am the only one here to keep the family together from breaking apart. What was that? What is this? Destructible... Was that props? Yeah, destructible props. What else do we got? 35 millimeter. The Uncertain. That looks like a pretty cool movie. I'd watch that. That looks creepy. Hello? Oh, hello, Mom. Oh, shoot! She's just a simulation. Oh, look. I remember that photo and that one. More exposition. I sometimes go to Amanda's room and try to find some comfort. Being in her room reminds me of her. I almost feel like she's around here. A few days ago, I swear I saw a figure that looked like Amanda walking down the hall. I also hear mysterious footsteps around the house when I'm alone. It has to be her. Her spirit is following me. But I'm a ghost. Ooh, I'm a ghost. I have nothing to be scared of because I am the ghost. That's what I'm getting. Hello. Are you the brother? You got a lot, like, you got to get that trimmed up around the edges. Like his hair just kept going all the way down to his back. I spoke to my husband about the day I saw Amanda. Of course, he thinks I'm insane and delusional. He immediately dismisses any conversation related to Amanda. He is afraid to confront anything related to her. It's almost like he wants to forget about her entirely. When we're discussing a divorce, he says being around the house makes him for, uh, more depressed. He rented an apartment for himself and I barely see him or talk to him. How much more can I handle of any of this? My boy Dylan is also barely around. His drug addiction has taken a toll on him. I'm glad you don't try to like get him help. How about some NA classes or some outpatient treatment? Come on, lady. He's on drugs. I don't know what to do. I'm invisible. I'm a ghost. That's right. I forgot. Another bathroom scene. Oh, shoot. I'm in a bathroom. Or am I? I got to find a way to get out of the bathroom. Open the door like that. Go through the toilet. Perfect. What is this? Is that a handle to the toilet seat? Interesting. Ah, maybe a key will help. We found a way. Easy. Oh, ominous red lighting. Look at that big old calculator. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Hello?
What are we supposed to be doing? Ah, here we go. Nope, nothing in the drawer. This drawer? Ah, a key. A smaller key. Here, grab it. Come here. There it is. Yeah, I got another key. That'd be cool if there was something in that mirror. Can I go this way? <laughs> Alright. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. At least I don't have to read all that. Oh, man. Stop the madness. I can't. How much longer? Stop the madness. Stop the madness. How much longer? Martha keeps insisting I should write. Will it ever stop? I can't. Stop the madness. How much longer? Will it ever stop? Okay. I have another key. Open! Father of murdered roommate commits suicide. Author Graham found dead in the apartment. Uh oh. Oh! That's a really annoying effect. That's a really annoying effect. <laughs> Why am I looking at plaid? Oh, I'm back in my room. It was all a nightmare after all. Get up, Amanda. Jeez. Yeah, I'm still Amanda. Amanda, can you read my text? Yes? What's wrong? I can't believe it. This is unreal. Is it really you, Amanda? What's going on? Uh, you... You are... We're gone. Oh, shoot! You are... We're gone. Dang, I did not expect that. You are, were gone. That's crazy. Truly terrifying. Truly terrifying. All right, that was Ghost of Tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the Twitter, Discord, and the merchandise in the description. Consider becoming a member of the Ventexans, and I will see you guys next time.